That is some interesting looking watermelon. Let's take a look at the watermelon first. So I should explain that I didn't actually put the watermelon in in the best way. Because we didn't have this in contact with the heating element laying flat, it didn't all sublimate out at the same rate. It pulled a little bit out of the rind and the sides where it was leaning up against the heating pads in the side of our box, that heated up as well. But we do still have this little frozen section down at the bottom. If we'd done it all correctly, it'd probably be more like this top part. But let's see what this does. So watermelon, of course, normally is very squishy sponge. It's like a soaking wet sponge. And now, this just snapped right off like a dry styrofoam material. See how light and porous that is. I'm just gonna squish it. I bet this just powderizes right here. Gone. Watermelon dust right there. Cheers. Wow. That's actually a very concentrated watermelon flavor. I was kind of wondering if it would end up being a little bit weak or something, but it's not. It really tastes very strongly of watermelon. 